Hi, I'm Brian Yatsen, and welcome to our recording on installation rules part of 20, which is part of the paper one for installation rules. Special installations or locations, we focus here on section 7.13 of the regulations. And these special installations, specifically high voltage apparatus for the section. Note one, HV apparatus include signs, electrostatic particle precipitation and the like. The subclause covers circuits other than the internal wiring of apparatus that operate at voltages exceeding 1000 volts and are derived from an installation of voltage not exceeding 1000 volts AC. Note two, a voltage exceeding 1000 volts which is stepped up in power installation is covered in SANS 101 for 2-2. Rating plates. Each transformer, reactor, voltage regulator, induction coil, capacitor, rectifier and converter shall have a rating plate securely fixed to it. The rating plate shall give the rated power and the voltages. And closes. All accessible life parts of high voltage apparatus shall be enclosed by earth, metal, or, non, or by non-flammable material. The covers of the enclosure shall be only shall only be removable with the use of a tool. The minimum clearances in Table 7.4 shall be complied with. So here is a table of the minimum clearances, table 7.4. So at a voltage of 3.3 kVA, minimum clearance phase to, phase to earth is 120 mL. Minimum safety clearance in the roast on by person with or object is 150 mL. 6.6 .6 kV, the same applies, 120 mL and 150 mL for persons. 11 kV, uh, 160 millimeters uh, face, face to face and face to earth. And the 200 minimal, uh, millimeter um, minimum safety clearance. For 22 kV, 220 mil face clearance. And uh, 320 mil object clear uh, um, person with or with or without object and then for 30 millimeters in the case of 33 kV and 320 millimeters face clearance and face to earth. High voltage signs. A high voltage sign and its equipment shall be supported by non-flammable supports. A notice that shows that the sign uses high voltages shall be fixed next to the high voltage sign and in full view. Outdoor fault, oil filled equipment. The possibility of the spread of fire from inside or close to oil filled equipment to any part of a building or to flammable material shall be limited by the use of an appropriate combination of space separation fire resistant barriers, enclosures, and other safeguards. Any fire resistant barrier shall have a fire resistance rating of at least 120 minutes and shall be at least 300 millimeters taller than the body of the equipment. Indoor oil filled equipment. Indoor oil filled equipment shall be positioned in a chamber that a is ventilated independently of the normal building ventilation and has an oil enclosure or drain that prevents any spilled oil from reaching a part of the building that is not designed to accommodate the spill. The enclosure or drain shall be such as to satisfy the fire officer. Note, metal clad indoor oil filled equipment with an oil capacity of 200 liters or less and with no exposed conductors 
need not be installed in a special chamber if the equipment is situated over a sump or drain of adequate capacity. Then equipment filled with non-combustible dielectric. Equipment that is filled with a dielectric that is non-flammable in air shall be fitted with a relief valve that is ducted to the outside of the building or installed in a chamber that is vented direct to the outside of the building. Transformers. Step-up transformers. If a step-up transformer is used to raise the voltage of the supply, for example, for high voltage signs, but excluding voltage is stepped up in a power installation. A, the transformer shall be in a suitably labeled enclosure. B, except is permitted uh, in the following. For auto transformers, the primary and secondary winding shall be separate throughout. The circuit that supplies the transformer shall have a multiple switch disconnector that disconnects all the phase and neutral conductors of the supply and the equipment shall be so arranged that the length of the high voltage wiring is reduced as much as possible. Auto transformers. An auto transformer that has an open circuit voltage of less than 50 volts or more than 1000 volts shall not be used except in connection with discharge lighting equipment. In the case of an auto transformer, the common terminal shall be connected to the neutral conductor. Converters. A converter shall have separate windings with insulation levels equivalent to those of a safety transformer. Capacitors. Capacitors shall be enclosed in insulating material or in earth metal and have means to ensure that they are automatically discharged to less than 50 volts within one minute when they are disconnected from the supply. Note one, appropriate means of just discharging include connection to a load and using a resistance connected across the poles of the capacitor. Note two, capacitors, capacitors have to be treated with caution. Care should be taken in ensuring they are discharged before the associated life parts are handled. Switch disconnectors. A switch disconnector shall be provided to allow disconnection of the supply. It shall be so interlocked that it is not possible to gain access to the high voltage apparatus without automatic disconnection of the supply or easily accessible as close as possible to the high voltage apparatus and lockable. Lockable switch disconnectors in an installation shall be individually keyed. Fireman switch. Each interior high voltage installation that runs unattended shall, such as a window display, and each exterior high voltage installation shall have a fireman switch. Note 1. A high voltage sign in a closed market or arcade is deemed to be an exterior installation, but an installation in a permanent exhibition center is deemed to be an interior installation. Note 2. A portable high voltage sign that A has a rated input not exceeding 100 watt and is applied from a socket outlet that has a local means of isolation need not be regarded as being an interior high voltage installation. A fireman switch shall comply with the requirements for switch disconnectors of SAN 60947-3. A fireman switch shall Isolate all live poles of the supply to a high voltage sign. If the isolation is remote controlled, failure of the power supply to the remote control equipment shall cause the circuit to open automatically. A fireman switch shall be so designed that a catch prevents the switch from being accidentally or inadvertently returned to the closed position. A fireman switch shall be in a red colored enclosure be switched off when the lever is at the top. Have the closed and open positions marked with lettering that can be clearly seen by a person who has normal eyesight standing on the ground. Be fixed in a clearly visible position that can easily be reached by firemen. 
unless otherwise permitted by a fire officer, be about 2.7 meters above ground level. For interior signs, be at the main entrance of the building or structure or in another position acceptable to the fire officer. In the case of an exterior sign, be next to the sign, but if the switch controls more than one sign, the switch shall be next to one of the signs and there shall be a notice under each of the other signs to show where the fireman switch can be found. Another arrangement may be used if acceptable to the fire officer and if there is more than one switch in a building or structure, be marked to indicate which signs or part of the building it controls. Conductors for high voltage circuits. The high voltage circuit from a transformer to electrical equipment shall use conductors that are insulated to withstand the rated voltage and rated current of the circuit and armored or suitably enclosed. Cables for circuits that operate at voltages exceeding 1000 volts shall not be run in the same channel of a wireway as cables for the circuits that operate at a voltage of less than 1000 volts. B. Be identifiable at the terminations and be fixed at the appropriate spacings given in the following table. So for insulated or insulated and braided cables, they need to have uh, the maximum spacing of 600 uh, millimeters horizontal and 750 millimeters vertical. For a metal sheathed unarmored cable, you need a 750 spacing and 1250 millimeter vertical spacing. For the armored or the metal sheet and armored cables, a thousand millimeter and horizontal spacing and the vertical spacing of a hundred or of a thousand five hundred millimeters. That brings us to the end of this recording. Please like and subscribe to see more of the content and for us to make time to also increase our content and the uh, quality of our content. Thank you very much for watching.